Hey guys, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning here tonight to chat about this new Dope Body album, Crack a Light. Dope Body are Baltimore, Maryland based noise rockers who, in the early days, around the time of their Nothing album, honestly, I was into a lot of their contemporaries. So I thought immediately I would enjoy Dope Body, but I did, but only from a distance. I was kind of very casually into the album. I liked the album's more artsy direction at times, but I wasn't sold on them completely. However, with their Natural History album, they did end up winning me over. This was a sludgy, muscular, noisy album that just sounded like a garage punk frat party, which for me at the time was totally what I was into. I also loved their hazy, psychedelic follow-up lifer, honestly. I think it's probably their best album. Now, honestly, I did think their Kunk album was a little one-dimensional. And after that, they went through some lineup changes. They took some time off. They broke up even for a little while. But they returned earlier this year with the incredibly fun Homebody album. Now, they're back with their second album of the year, this Crack a Light album. And from the sound of these singles leading up to this thing, it just sounded like business as usual, which is Far from a bad thing with Dope Body. Let's chat about it. This album starts off with Curve, and if you're familiar with Dope Body's music, this is going to be business as usual. It's a grimy, raucous blend of garage punk and noise rock, but for me, I love the sort of sweaty blend of party rock and other elements that are going into this. No doubt about it, this is just a ton of fun. It's got plenty of sweaty, pumping riffs and a gritty atmosphere. This just sounds like it was taken in one legendary take. Dope Body continue to have just such an awesome sound. Clean and Clear has this sort of drunken groove to it, and this big muscular riff that comes up actually sounds a lot like what we would have gotten on like Ty Seagal's Freedom's Goblin album. It's so slick, it's so muddy, this production is just so bulky. I mean, for me, this is just abrasive ear candy, just perfect for pumping some iron to. And I love how chaotic this gets by this track's finale. Lethargic isn't as raw or animalistic. It's a little bit more garage punk by the books. At least instrumentally, because as far as vocals go, this is just as explosive and dynamic. I like this track a lot. If I had to make one critique, I am not as into the production on this track. It sounds a little tinny, which usually I wouldn't hate, but compared to the rest of the album, I think that it just lacks there. Also, that last kind of minute of instrumental just kind of gets me out of the groove here. But still, this is a fine track. Jerbang, however, gets me right back on track. This is one of the most explosive in-your-face tracks here. I love how tortured and insane these vocals are here. This may be what Dope Body has done for years, but it's also what they do best. I love hearing this. It just gets me so hyped up to hear the rest of the album. Lulu, on the other hand, is one of the most chaotic tracks here. I love the freakish bass riff and the explosive guitars. Not only that, but the commanding vocal performance here does a lot for me. It just once again sounds like a wild, drunken caveman track. Now, if I'm being honest, as far as songwriting goes, I can't give this completely high marks. But if you can look past that, this is one of the grimiest, sludgiest, sweatiest things I've heard in rock all year. The Sculptor is one of my favorite tracks here. It is just so insane, this track. I love the super grim lyrics and the devilish performances. It's one of the more brutal tracks here, too. It's almost metal-inspired at points. But it's also super catchy, unbelievably focused, and one of the more triumphant tracks here, all while remaining so obvious so simple so spoiler alert i do love the majority of this album but don't body have always had slight consistency issues with me daylight for one is not for me i'm all in for an explosive noisy jam but this to me doesn't have the structure that the rest of this album has this actually reminds me of everything i didn't like about kunk Lo and behold just gets me out of sync with this album like i don't want to harp on this too much but it just really does get me out of the groove not only that but it doesn't even sound good frank says as relapse is actually really disappointing as well, especially with just how well some of the shorter tracks come off later on in the album. But this to me is just a waste of space and time. And Known Unknown as a finale is really disappointing too. In a series of crunchy, meaty, noise rock and garage punk jams, this just sticks out really bad. What the hell happened to the production here? It's just been so big and meaty this entire time. This just sounds so mediocre. And also, what is up with that bouncy bass riff? It's just so unflattering. Oh, and the songwriting is awful. I don't know what happened here at the finale of the album. Outside of that, though, I'm still all in on Dope Body. These guys are great. Mutant Being is by far the longest track here, and I mean by far. It's sort of got some crowd rock influence. It's sort of psychedelic. It actually reminds me a lot of their Lifer album. And honestly, it's probably my favorite track here. I just feel like listening to this, that Dope Body is just laying it all out on the table. 
It's sonically one of the best sounding tracks here. It progresses great as well. It's just a really great single. More, on the other hand, is just such a killer, fuzzy groove. Once again, there is just a simplicity to this track that works so well. It almost comes off as like some twisted, alternate reality classic rock track. But this makes it even more fun and groovy. Just what a fun sound. And Hypocrite has some killer grooves. I mean, this is just so slick. So muddy, just awesome. It's such an obvious sound, but Dope Body nail it. The breakdowns are sharp. The production is impenetrable. Dope Body sound like they're going to break down as a unit at any minute, but they still just sound like they can kick your ass. And honestly, I didn't think my man was going to be my cup of tea either, mostly because it takes a little while to get going. But this is one of the most punk-oriented, most throttling tracks here, and it is awesome. It's so explosive, so quick to make its mark. It's sort of a throwback, but it's also very progressive. I love this. So, you know, I don't think that this probably beats out their Homebody album of earlier this year or some of their older stuff like Natural History and Lifer, but honestly, Dope Body still have such an awesome sound in garage punk and noise rock. Yeah, some of the songwriting here is subpar, and when it's bad, it gets pretty bad, and it really does get off the rails in the final leg of the album, but still, I am all in on these guys. This is just a great sound in noise rock and garage punk right now. I'm feeling a light eight on this thing, but let me know what you guys think down below. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, guys.